Hey, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Torin, and today we're going to be going over WebSockets, which are a protocol that allows us to send and receive messages over the internet in real time. In this example, I've set up a custom website that allows us to move this slider, and we can actually control Touch Designer in real time. And on the flip side, we can actually use this slider over here, and you can see that it's controlling the website in real time. So the reason this is super exciting is that we're able to design our own custom UI using a website, and we could run it on a tablet or a touchscreen, and we can have a nice looking interface that could then control our installation in Touch Designer. But then in Touch Designer, it's so easy to hook up different sensors. So we could take that information, and then we could also broadcast that back to our website and use that however we'd like. You can also send more complex information from the website over to Touch Designer. I have a tutorial here that shows how to do real-time body tracking in the browser using Google's machine learning model called MoveNet. If you're interested in being able to do real-time body tracking without needing a connect and also running on Mac and PC, check out that tutorial. I go over the component that I've created, which is available on my Patreon. In this earlier part of the tutorial, you're not going to need to do any programming. We're going to go over high level how the WebSocket communication is working. So the first thing we need to take a look at is how this communication is actually happening. I made this diagram. So you can see here, we actually have this server that we're going to be hosting. And it's some code that allows us to handle the WebSocket communication. So here, this is representing our website. And then we've got Touch Designer over here. The way that the WebSocket communication works is that there's this initial handshake. So our website will reach out to a server and it's going to make this initial handshake. And once it's connected, it's able to send messages to this server. And then the server can then broadcast it out to anything that else that's listening. Similarly, over here on Touch Designer's side, Touch Designer has a built-in WebSocket component. So what we'll do is connect as well to this server. Once that handshake has been made, we're able to send and receive messages to that WebSocket. And then if we broadcast information to the WebSocket server, it'll then send it out to anything else that's listening. So then our website can receive that. Right now, we don't actually have our socket server hosted anywhere. So we're gonna go over how to host that. It's a quick process and the reason that it's important for us to host this on a separate server is that if someone else is using the same socket server, any messages that they send to it will also be broadcast to your website and to Touch Designer, whatever you have listening to it, and they'll also be able to listen to the messages that you're sending. So let's go ahead and get your WebSocket server hosted. 